This is divisibility by nine. And I'm remembering the way I learned about whether a number is divisible by three, and I'll be using that same procedure. So I have a number here. It's 2,313. And I'll ask the question for each place value of whether that place is divisible by nine. Is three divisible by nine? No. So I'm going to hold on to these three to continue my exploration. Is 10 divisible by 9? No, but if I take 1 away, then I would have 9, and that is divisible by 9. Is 100 divisible by 9? No, but if I take 1 unit away, then I'd have 99, which is divisible by 9. So I'm going to take 1 unit for each of the 300s I have here, and that would leave me with a number that is divisible by 9. I have 1,000, which is not divisible by 9, but if I just took one unit away, I'd have 999, which is divisible by 9. So I'll take one unit to represent each of the thousands and know that now the thousands place minus these two is divisible by 9. So this value is divisible by 9, and this is what I took away from that value. And it's 2, which is from the thousands place, 3, which is from the hundreds place, 1, which is from the tens place, and the 3 units. 1, 2, plus 3 is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is 9 divisible by 9? Yes. So 2,313 is divisible by 9. So when a number is divisible by 9, when the sum of its digits is divisible by 9.